After you are done with your animation, you'll need to render it into a video file. This will allow you to play it on your computer's media players or share it with friends through CDs or emails. Anytime you feel you're done with your animation, simply click on the Make Movie button located at the right side of the Animaker interface. This tells Animaker to take the captured sequence on your timeline and render it into an animated movie file. When it's done, the movie file will be automatically played on your computer's default media player, which in my case is the Windows Media Player. Sit back and look at your finished work in its full video resolution. The checkbox marked Advanced allows you to specify technical details in the rendering of your animated movie file, such as the compression type and settings. To use this option, make sure that the box is checked before you click on Make Movie. Go ahead, try it and see what the options look like. However, if they don't make any sense to you, chances are there is no need for you to worry about them in the first place. After your movie is rendered, it will also appear in the gallery at the bottom right-hand corner. The Movie Functions button houses essential functions you can perform on the finished movie clips in your gallery. Just click on the button to see a drop-down list of these functions. You can choose to change the name of any movie clip using Rename Movie. Simply enter the new name you wish to give your clip. You can also save your clip into perhaps your thumb drive by using Save Movie As. In the dialog box that pops up, simply search for the folder or location where you wish to save your movie clip to. If you feel you do not want to keep a certain movie clip, use Delete to remove the clip from your gallery entirely. In a similar way, the Gallery Functions button houses the essential functions you can perform on the gallery. The clips that are conveniently listed in your gallery are actually stored in a folder just like the thousands of others on your computer. By default, this gallery folder is located in My Documents, My Animaker Clips, which is accessible through Windows Explorer. If you want Animaker to automatically save all the movies you make in a different folder, click on the Gallery Functions button and choose Relocate Gallery. In the dialog box that pops up, choose the folder where you want Animaker to save your movie clips to. At any time you suspect the gallery is somehow not displaying a newly made movie clip of yours, try clicking on the Gallery Functions button and choose Refresh Gallery.